And today we are going to see Cathangian vestibuloplasty y Pepo pasa por mi lado, así que lo tengo que volver a grabar. <risa> And today we are going to see Cathangian vestibuloplasty. Hello guys, how are you doing today? In this video, Jose Luis Montpella and me, we are going to introduce you to Kazangian vestibuloplasty. Kazangian was an Armenian citizen that emigrated to the United States and he did dentistry in Harvard. This was before the First World War. He traveled to Europe to fight in the First World War and he developed many techniques in plastic surgery. Those days there were many many patients without fun of vestibule. The, the vestibule was flat due to long-term edenturism. So the technique he developed was focused on getting a gain and attached mucosa over the bone so the prosthesis could be a little bit more fixed. As you all know, we all have patients that come to our offices and they have little injuries in the front of the vestibule because the vestibule is a little bit flat and they have injuries because of the prosthesis which is hitting that part. Why is that? Because the vestibules are flat. How can we get back our vestibules? First of all, we need to know the anatomy of the tissues. In the outer layer, what we have is the mucosa. If we go deep inside, we go through the muscle, we get to the periosteum and then get to the bone. So, what we are going to do following Kazantian principles is remove that muscle and make an attached mucosa against the periosteum. Okay? We need to remove the muscle. Why? Because the muscle is the one which is moving all the mucosa. When we have mucosa, always there is muscle underneath. On the other hand, when we have gingiva, there is no muscle underneath. That's why gingiva is always attached to the bone and mucosa is moving. So we need to remove that muscle which is underneath the mucosa. How are we going to do this? We are going to perform a Kazantian vestibule plastic. As you can see in this picture, we can see we have a flat vestibule, okay? We are going to perform a mucosal incision, raise a mucosal flap, and we are going to move the muscle apically and suture back the mucosa on the periosteum. This way we will get attached mucosa and we would be able to place the prosthesis for the patient and have some retention of it. We also can perform this technique with implants. There is a modified Kazantian technique which have the possibility to approach like a Kazantian vestibuloplasty but at the same time we can place our implants. So in only one surgery we will have a tight mucosa, we will have our implants done and the soft tissue in place. When can we perform this technique? This technique we perform it when we have a full prosthesis in the maxilla or also in the lower jaw and we have a lot of insertion and muscle insertions that makes the patient be uncomfortable because they can pop out the prosthesis easily. So we are going to perform this technique either in the maxilla or in the jaw. In both places we can do it and we can get these results that you can see here. Why we don't do it at the same time? Because if we do the Cassandra at the same time that we are extracting the root, we will have holes in our flap, holes of the sockets of the extraction of the teeth. And we cannot have that because the Cassandra vestibuloplasty is a flap. And because it's a flap, the pedicle comes from the lingual. So all the vascularization of this flap comes from the lingual. We need that vascularization to be intact to have the best results. So, if we are going to extract a tooth, we mustn't perform this technique at the same time. In this case, we will have to wait. One tip that you have to know is that if you place implants at the same time, this implant should be bone level. You shouldn't place a tissue level implants because our flap is going to cover all the implants and we cannot have uh, something hitting the soft tissue from the inside. So guys, you have to learn this technique because it's very useful, it's very affordable, you only need a scalpel and some suture and you can do it in many many occasions. Hope you have liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and leave your questions in the comments. And remember, as we always say, the scalpel in your hand and the prosthetic work in your mind. See you soon guys!